what does that mean then in terms of practical steps um, that people should uh, take when they're still sitting here in Australia? Uh, what do we mean practical? Well, like the you know remotely um, uh, uh, lodge get their trademark done, oh, okay. uh, things like that. You know, yeah, practical yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so in China, we normally recommend you to go for a professional uh, assistance. Uh, you go to the uh, you know uh, registered like uh, trademark uh, agent or a law firm who has uh, you know offices in China or they have a, a, a association. Uh, association with China uh, trademark agent because it's um, uh, firstly the language is different and uh, the secondly there's a uh, you know a different requirement something like um, if you go to China and doing business uh, it, it would be recommend you have a, a transliteration of your trademark so uh, that's that because the consumer in China it's more uh, adopted to the Chinese name of your trademark rather than you know the English letters. So we would recommend you register your trademark in English letter first, and then uh, the transliteration or some translation of your mark. So you got uh, uh, protected widely.